Name is Jessica Somerville, just 27 years old, the mother of a seven-year-old. Witnesses at the restaurant say she was shot after some type of fight, and now two young men are wanted for questioning. News 4's Dominique Moody joins us live outside the restaurant on Silver Hill Road in District Heights now with the latest. Dominic, a very sad story here. Incredibly sad, Un and Leon, and you know, loved ones. They tell us that they are heartbroken to know that Jessica Somerville was actually just coming here, like you mentioned, to get some dinner after a long shift with the postal service. And she leaves behind a seven-year-old young daughter. And police say they are looking and warning the public to come forward to help and find any of the two men a part of this uh, this killing. And they say that two young men are actually wanted in connection with the killing of the 27-year-old. A devoted mother with a generous heart who enjoyed quality time with her family and friends is how loved ones are remembering Jessica Somerville. Jessica was lively. She was outgoing. She was funny, loud, and the life of the party. Prince George's County Police say the 27-year-old was shot and killed outside this Subway restaurant in District Heights around 2 o'clock on Sunday morning. Investigators release this surveillance video of the two young men wanted in connection with the shooting. Take a look. At one point, the two suspects are laughing and hugging one another inside the restaurant prior to the shooting. News 4 talked with workers inside who say there was a scuffle and argument outside of a car in the parking lot before the gunfire erupted. I was honestly shocked. Um, I, find out, I found out through social media, and um, she didn't deserve that. A relative says Jessica had just wrapped up her shift at the nearby post office and was stopping for dinner. In a statement, the United States Postal Service says Ms. Somerville began her career with the United States Postal Service two and a half years ago. The Postal Service is deeply saddened by the loss of our postal family member. Our condolences and prayers go out to her family, friends, and co-workers. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hey, first and foremost, as always, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught, taught us this truth. A hey, blessings and safety to the elect. All right. And, um, you know, this is why you should, you know, fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Now, this is more of a reason why, you know, Jake should drop the buffoonery and repent. All right. Because, you know, judgment doesn't announce itself, okay? But I'm gonna open up with this quick preset, man, because the world, okay, you Jake's out there, okay, you Israelites out there, man, you, you, you don't understand judgment, okay? You do not understand judgment, okay? Matter of fact, let me open up with this, man. You know, a person dies, you know, you know the first thing you do is, you know, you cry and you know, you ask God why, and you be mad at the world, and you know, you 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 and you know, with that, uh, you know, the cardinal mindset, man. You, you know, depending on how the person was, you know, judged, man, you want to seek revenge, okay? And in some cases, you know, people go out and uh, uh, and um, seek uh, revenge, man, okay? And that's because they don't understand judgment. But this is Proverbs twenty-eight and five. It says, "Evil men understandeth." Not judgment, but they that seek of the Lord understand all things. So we understand, okay, when a person dies, okay, that that person was judged due to their, you know, iniquities and sins, man. Okay? Now let's go back to the book of Job, right? It's Job 4 and 7. It reads, Remember, I pray thee. Whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? All right. Now, who have ever perished being innocent? You know, what person was ever put to death that didn't deserve it, man? All right. And the answer to and the answer to that is, is is no one, man. Okay. Now we do understand. Okay, when Yahweh was on the scene. He was perfect, but
but he also had to pay for his sins and his past life as well, as well as ours, man, for those who can receive it, okay? So, hey, man, that, that, that woman wasn't innocent, man. You know, she wasn't innocent. She had, you know, a long track record of sin, man, all right? Because we all do. Matter of fact, hey, let's go to the book of Romans, man. And I'm, and I'm hey, look, we're, we're, we're teaching you the, the, the reason judgment takes place, you know, why judgment takes place, man. All right? And, I, and like I said, I'm on the title of this lesson, man. Judgment doesn't an announce itself, okay? So this is uh, Romans 6 and 23. All right? Now, the scripture I read before was whoever perished being innocent, right? This is Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, which a wage is a payment, right? A form of a payment, right? It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, our Lord. So the wages of sin is death, man. Okay? So, hey, man. Hey, this is why I hear a great millstone start with the apostles and elders, a great millstone on down, right? We, you know, promote repentance. Repentance, repentance, repentance. Okay? You, you know, the true repentance of feeling, of feeling less, man. Okay? Which means, hey, don't continue to live in wickedness, man. After you repent, you know, ask the Lord for forgiveness. You don't continue to just live in, live in uh, uh, wickedness, as the church, uh, as the uh, church tells you, man. The Christian church. All right, you repent and you offend less, man. But this is the this is the reason why the Lord is putting people to death. Okay, this is the reason why, man. You know, to 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 to, to your eyesight. Okay, she was a loving mother, single loving mother. Who went to work every day okay you know she loved her friends she helped her friends you know she was a as, as they said in the uh on the news man she was a you know a happy person you know she was always smiling the lord doesn't care about that man okay what the lord cares about is you conducting yourself in the correct manner according to the scriptures man okay that's what the lord you know uh cares about man hey the scriptures say Hey, um, and uh, the apocrypha, man, uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Okay, so she wasn't innocent, man. Okay, matter of fact, you know, hey, let's go to Deuteronomy, man, the 32nd chapter, man. Hey, this is a hard pill to swallow for these Christians. Okay, you know, Satan, 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 man. Okay. But, hey, if you was actually reading the scriptures and had understanding, you would know that Satan was a servant of God, man. Okay? But this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. You know, to anyone who ever lost their life, man. Okay? Hey, this, this right here is, is, like I said, a hard pill uh, to swallow, man. Okay? This uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy 32nd chapter, verse the 39th verse, it says, See now that I, even I am he. And there's no God with me. I kill. And hey, that's another thing too, man. You know, Jake is out here worshiping all these idols. You know, Jake is 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 is, is locked in to all of these damn religions in his, in the society, man. You know, Jake is, you know, everything but an Israelite. <laughs> Which this is not a this is our, our our nationality, man. Yes, the Lord did give us religion, okay. But this is our nationality. This is our heritage, man. You know. And, you know, <clears throat> you know, um, Jake is indulging in everything. You know, Jake is a 5%. You know, Jake is into Islam. You know, Jake is a Jehovah Witness. Okay? Jake is a damn Catholic. You know? Jake is in these damn Christian churches. You know, just worshiping these idols, man. Giving all uh, praise and glory to these idols, man. Okay? But, hey, the scriptures say that there is no God with the Most High, man. Okay? You know, Buddha is not up in the spiritual realm with Yahabah Shimi Awasha, man. Okay? He's not, man. These are idols, okay? And this is another uh, reason why Jake is out here getting put to death, too. Okay? Just uh, uh, last week, man, you know, some woman, uh, you know, it was a high speed chase in Cleveland, man, from, well, in Euclid, and it ended up in Cleveland, okay, where the young dudes, they crashed into a woman, and she, and she died, man. Okay? But, you know, they, they, they made mention of her going on her way to church for the second time that day. 
Jake ain't supposed to be in the church houses, man. Again, man, we, we, we warned Jake. Hey, man, you're not supposed to be in these harlot houses, man. Okay? But it says, see now that I, even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal. If someone loses their life, man, the Lord called their spirit back to the spirit world, man. Okay? You know, we all here worthy of judgment. Okay? This is why it's important again to repent. Okay? To repent for your sins in, in, in this present life and your sins in your past life, man. See, people don't understand how judgment... Hey, man. Uh, let's get the book of... Uh, real quick. They don't understand, man. You got to repent for your sins in your past life, man. Your former sins and your sins today, man. And it's very important, man. But, you know, this is second Ezra's. Because so they don't understand, man. They don't understand judgment, man. Okay? Second Ezra's uh, 14 and uh, 35. And it reads, For at the death shall the judgment come when we shall live again, man. Okay? So, hey, man, you, you know, Christians teach, you know, you die, you go to, to heaven or hell, man. Okay, if you go to hell, you go, you're going to be in some under, uh, under realm, underground realm where you're, where, where you're burning forever, man. It's a lie. It's a myth. Okay? Now it says, for at the death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. Okay? All you people out there that believe in that YOLO shit, man, you only live once. Okay? It's a damn myth, man. It's a lie. Okay? So, hey, you die, you, you, your spirit goes back to the spiritual realm. Okay? And then, you know, hey, there's multiple scriptures proving that. You know? Your flesh, you know, goes back to the ground. Okay? And, you know, after three to four generations, man, you know, the Lord sends you back down through that whole cycle. That whole pregnancy cycle where the man, you know, plants his seed into a woman. And then a, trial, a child grows within her, and then a child comes out of her. That child just came from the spiritual realm, man, back to receive that judgment for what they did in their past life. You know, this is why a little kid, you know, gets shot in the head and, you know, everyone's boohooing and crying. But normally that child was judged for, what their, for, the, for their sins, man. Okay? But I'm going to read this back. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, see that now that I am he and there is no God with me, I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. Okay, this is the place of judgment. Hey, you're going to grab that too, man. Okay? Hey, you know, hey, 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 nothing, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord lets nothing go, man. You know, you think, oh, it's my past life, it was cool. No, man, the Lord still required that, man. Ecclesiastes, hey, we, who knows, man? Like I said, man, you know, the, she was a lovely mother. You know, did she eat pork? Was she, was she, uh, was she giving her, you know, her, her husband or her, whoever, you know, the dude she was, was she giving him hell? You know, was she, was she, was she riding the cock carousel? Okay. Was she worshiping JC? You know, was she, uh, shoving strip crab and lobster down her mouth? Was she, was she committing adultery? See, people don't consider the Lord's ways, man, when, when death happens. You know, it doesn't matter if, hey, as long as she wasn't robbing, as long as she didn't kill anyone, as long as she had a job and went to work, she was righteous to the eyes of the people, man. But people don't know what the hell righteous is, man. Because here it is, they'll, they'll say we're wicked. The ones who, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts, who serve in the true power, they'll call us wicked. And then they'll call, you know, some old nigga woman, okay, uh, in a damn Christian church fanning herself with a fan, they'll call her righteous, right? What the hell with these people, man? <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, it says that which have been is now and that which is to be have already been and Yahweh require which is past, man. Hey, this is why you Edomites, you got to pay for what you did. You ain't going to just uh, cast for slide, okay, in the kingdom, of, or, or in our kingdom, and think you're going to be equal with us, man. Your ass is going to shackles, man. But that's another topic. This is the point. Verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. So this is where judgment takes place, man. So this woman, 
You know, that woman, you know, <laughs> that was, uh, you know, judged, you know, at, outside of Subway, you know, fresh off of work, man. Who you think put the instructions in her mind to go to Subway, man? After work, the Lord, because he knew he was going to send judgment upon her, man. Matter of fact, Zephaniah 3 and 5, it says the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity, okay? The Lord just don't judge someone for no reason. You know, the Lord is not going to, you know, put you to death. You know, the Lord is not going to crash you up in the car, okay? The Lord is not going to have you get... A, you know, attacked by a dog just to see it, man. Okay? Or just because, you know, he just wants to see it, man. No. Okay? The Lord is, 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 is he, he doesn't commit iniquity. Okay? The Lord is not unrighteous in the things that he does. He's not unright. He's a fair judge, man. You know, this ain't Esau, man. You, you know, he'll lock a nigga up 30 years for a crime that he didn't commit and then he'll let him out 30 years later and give him a million dollars Thinking that's supposed to, you know, patch everything up, man. All right? 30 years, man. Time is precious. You know, fuck your, you know, your fiat currency, man. So the Lord is, hey, the Lord doesn't move like that, man. It says he will not do iniquity, okay? You know, every every morning do if he bring his judgment to light, and he fell if not, but the unjust know of no shame. You know, every morning do if he bring his judgment to light, Okay? Lord sent forth his angels, man, to get the job done, man. Okay? And you have men like us who who uh who who see these uh type of judgments and we do lessons on it. Okay? Uh so you know, giving our people that 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 warning that we're supposed to give them, man. You know? Through the terror of, of the Lord, we persuade men. Hey, yeah, the Lord did this judgment. The Lord carried this act out. You know, this is why you need to repent, right? All right? But it says the unjust know of no shame, okay? And our people are going to continue to live in wickedness. You know, they, they're, they're not going to, you know, feel guilty for their actions, you know? And ultimately, okay, the Lord is going to uh, uh, destroy two-thirds of the nation of Israel in this land, okay? You know, all of you, you jakes in America, man, you want to, you know, live it up. You want to live in wickedness, man. The Lord is going to put you down soon, man. You know, and the scriptures say that uh, death is better than continual sickness, man. Our people have a mental illness, man. Okay? They don't want to return back to their maker. You know? So, you know, I hope this is edifying. I want to end giving all praise. Honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rakakwadash, man. Repent to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Because you don't know when that judgment is going to befall you. Shalom.